Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about telomere replication. Now telomere replication for linear chromosome is always been a problem. Now why that problem creates? Because we know that in replication of eukaryotic system uh, most important thing because not actually eukaryote but whatever organism having a linear chromosome or linear DNA at the ends they face a problem with the lagging strand because in replication we do not have never we do not have any problem with uh, the leading strand we always have problem with uh, lagging strand so what they do in this case the lagging strand is there and synthesizing lagging strand is always been a problem now in this case of telomere replication what happens in lagging strand that uh, so let me uh, describe it to you. Normally what we are having, we are having a DNA. So let's say this is our DNA. Now once it is replicating, so it creates the replication fork and if I draw the new, so if this is the leading strand and this is the lagging strand 3 prime, 5 prime and this is 3 prime, 5 prime. This is going to be the leading strand. This is the lagging strand. So leading strand and lagging strand. Now what is happening in this case that in the lagging strand, in the leading strand everything is working fine. The the, the replication machinery or replisome complex is working uh, and direct synthesis of DNA is possible, right? In this direction. But what is happening in the lagging strand, it is starts synthesizing in this direction and they form small Okazaki fragments, right? Now in all these cases we know the DNA polymerase cannot initiate uh, to produce or uh, to add a polymerization of nucleotides on its own. It cannot use the polymerization, right? It cannot perform the polymerization on its own. So what, what the polymerase uh, in this case do, they always require a primer, a short sequence which is acting as a primer which is giving the pre 3 prime hydroxyl to the polymerase for adding the several nucleotides or further nucleotides with each other. So they must require the 3 prime hydroxyl group. Now in this case it is provided by the primers that I am drawing with this red color. So primer is there and then polymerization is taken place by DNA polymerase. Now imagine if this is the scenario it begins from this terminal site always because uh, for this lagging strand it starts from this. So what happens let's say this is the primer, primer is added and then polymer is try to make this and it done. So depend upon, so try to recapitulate what you learned about the process of replication. Remember in the process of replication we know after the synthesis is done this this strands, this small primers must be degraded, must be chewed out and they, the place for the primers will be filled by DNTPs. Right? Why? Because these primers and not stable in that place. The primers here are kind of RNA uh, in kind of origin. So we need to degrade these primers, we need to cut these primers out, right? Because primase is functioning differently and we don't want this primer to be there in the TNS strand. So we will cut this, uh, this primer out of it, right? So to cleave this primer out, we are having an, an enzyme. So they chew this out. Then the blank regions of the primers are filled by DNA polymerase. But this DNA polymerase is different than the polymerase that synthesize. But though all the DNA polymerase that we know require a primer or 3, 3 prime hydroxyl for polymerization. Now in this case, let's, let's assume that process is done and everything is completed. Then deletion of the primers start to occur. So primers are deleted. So once the primers are deleted, and then the polymerase will come and it will elongate because remember in this terminal part during synthesis hydroxyl 3 prime hydroxyls are there so they simply can join this elongate it and finally ligase will join this not ligase uh, yes in this case ligase also ligase will join the nick in this case right so f finally what we get a complete strand but what happens to the end or terminal of uh, of this dna you can see the terminal of the DNA after the deletion of the primer that is present in the terminal region, the terminal side of the DNA becomes blank. Right? So the newly synthesized strand, which is this one, this is the newly synthesized strand. So this strand is becoming shortened, right? So let me draw it here. So if I draw this whole thing that this is the one end, this is another end. 
and this is the terminal of 3 prime of this right it is getting shortened so this should be 5 here so it is getting shortened so each time the daughter DNA is being carried out the replication the third terminal part the third 3 prime terminal region here is getting shortened and that is the problem associated with the, this linear DNA if the DNA is circular then obviously there, this problem never is there because uh, there is no terminal region everything is circulated problems are sh solved but in this case this problem remains now how to resolve this problem to resolve this type of problem we have a special type of enzyme right it is called telomerase because normally in eukaryotic system the telomere is, is large and if this thing occurs in each replication it is getting shorter and the individual will have problems because the informations that are present in gene at this terminal regions will get lost and as a result of that the individual can encounter several different problems so for that reason to cope up with this situation the eukaryotic cell is having a specialized enzyme called telomerase now the telomerase enzyme is having two important sides to it one is that the telomerase enzyme is having an associated uh, mRNA sequence so telomerase associated telomerase associated RNA sequence telomerase associated RNA sequence is there this is the one thing and another thing that this that this DNA is having is that this telomerase is having is a catalytic catalytic domain so catalytic domain and telomerase associated RNA sequence now what is doing in this case this telomerase associated RNA sequence is having a repeated num repeated sequence there right uh, so in this case it is having adenine and cytosine repeat sequence of adenine and cytosine so let me draw it here so at the end of this sequence normally this telomerase is having four adenine sequence four cytosine sequence again four adenine sequence and so so it is having a sequence like this and it is also having a catalytic domain that that can that can polymerize things right like the polymerization process now they are having two important regions remember so they carry their own template so this is the template they carry and this is the catalytic domain they are using for polymerization now in this situation what they can do so this is a shortened arm right so what and how they can cope up with this situation now remember in this case they cannot extend this terminal because the shortened terminal is having a 5 prime end right you cannot polymerize from 5 prime because 5 prime is not having any phosphate the only way they can elongate that is the 3 prime because 3 prime is having the hydroxyl here at the end right so what they will do in this case they will use this template here so let's see the template they will use the template so this enzyme goes like this the enzyme goes and it sit here 4a 4c again 4a like that so it is giving the template on its own and what it is doing they are synthesizing it but remember this enzyme is having some complementary region with this 3 prime that is being made some amount of complementary using that complementary section it may it pairs with this 3 prime region and then the rest of the part it is having the template popping out so try to imagine this concept again this enzyme along with the template region goes there and it is having slightly other sequence in this terminal also also in this part so the sequences that are having upstream region will pair with this 3 prime region of the of the newly synthesized DNA strand and rest of the region of A, C and A sequences are just sliding out now if this is the situation then again they are using the catalytic domain now in this case this enzyme is very important guys single enzyme performing two very very important tasks the template is being arranged and attached now it cannot fall it off because they are having several hydrogen bonds here then they start to add the sequences there they start to add the sequences like this right in this way they can elongate the 3 prime 
once it's done then what they'll do they just skip it out skip it out a little bit because it is very much elongated in, in this direction also so just make a stem loop like structure it makes a structure like this and then it start to form more so it is continuously forming the sequence just know this that it is continuously adding nucleotide sequence in the 3 prime and it is elongating the 3 prime region right by elongating 3 prime region it is making sure remember if we elongate the 3 prime region what it means it means suppose in our DNA sequence suppose in our DNA sequence the same thing is happening here in our DNA sequence suppose this is the part the normal DNA strand is up to this these are the terminal this is the 3 prime end all the informations are kept throughout this region right and if this telomerase elongate this 3 prime stretch into this area that means this area is extra right and it is having many different nucleotide sequences repeated nucleotide sequences of T and G that are not required right that means even if during the replication telomere gets shortened so let's say even each replication is getting shortened 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 so but still it took a very very long time to it for reaching the actual terminal which is having some important genes right so that is the idea that if you are cutting me off if you are cutting my tail off i'll elongate the tail in, in i elongate the tail so long that you take a forever to cut the tail uh, up to the actual level right so that's the strategy taken up by cells in this case and for coping up with this situation telomerase is the key enzyme and using this telomerase remember this telomerase enzyme is not active in in all the cells right is not active because it's not required in all the cells it is active in some cells it is active in some kind of cells sometimes during the uh, re replication it is required right so this is kind of it guys and i hope that's helpful thank you